All right, good morning. It's Sunday, December 26th. Yeah, the 26th. And um, I've got most of my stuff packed up here because I'm going on a little adventure today. But I um, at least wanted to get something out to set the tone, see what there is to expect. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Taking some rest from, you know, during <laughs> from the weekend and hopefully enjoying the rest of your weekend. Oh. Today I feel um what is the feeling today? Yeah, I feel pretty, I don't know. Pretty good, pretty strong. I want to shout out to um, all the people who are having a rough go of it. Um, especially those who have fallen sick to COVID recently. It's really bad in Chicago right now. So just wishing everyone to get better soon. And hopefully it's not too bad for you um, if you're vaccinated. And um, please make smart decisions about the coming week in terms of seeing people and, and keeping your distance and getting tested. If you're traveling and seeing folks. All right, that's enough of that. New moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. Very good. Full moon eclipse, conclusions are within reach. And new moon Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Ooh. Hmm. This is this is possibly someone here getting getting to the root of something that they've been feeling for a while. Conclusions are within reach. Someone here is uh, transforming a little bit. Transformative energy. Balance. Hmm. This is some, some fresh energy here. Hmm. You know, the full moon eclipse, that is a very intense energy too, right there in the middle of a lot of things coming to light. feel a little bit stuck on words today. It's like nothing is really coming out clearly. And I feel, I mean, there's this page of wands, like I've been shuffling this deck and it keeps following me around. Every time I break it. Okay. Oh, I love this. The Empress underneath. Extremely relevant. That's Venus. Taurus. King of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Quarter Moon. Or Half Moon? Quarter Moon? Quarter Moon. 
That's the actual. That's actually the moon that we have right now in the sky on today. Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Summer, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, the High Priestess. Hmm. Let me get some inspo here. I'm having trouble. New moon cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. Make sure you put family first. Let someone get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for your child or children. Time to review your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help you banish insecurities. Spending time near water will bring you peace. So this, this makes sense with the Empress card because the Empress is all about nurturing and growing. And so the New Moon Cancer is saying that if you've been neglecting yourself recently um, in any way, it's time to sort of give that back to yourself. That's why I think the King of Swords is here under the New Moon Cancer because it does take some resolve to find the gratitude for uh, wherever you are right now if you're feeling a little bit of um, you know yeah those those insecurities gratitude is the medicine here because what I also see on the table is a little bit of confusion and wanting to understand why things uh, are the way that they are so there's a period of learning here, or shall I say, it feels like relearning. So it's almost like come back to the things that you know. Because the Knight of Cups is here, which could be a love offer. This might be somebody else that you're dealing with. Um, but if, if that's the case, they're showing up as somebody who's not exactly showing you this. This might be the cause of insecurity. So somebody has love for you and wants to see you grow just as much as you do. But I think what's happening here is there is a little, there's some second guessing here. There's a lot of confusion on the table about some sort of scarcity. Feeling like you don't have the resolve here. Some sort of like lost some lost gratitude. I don't know. There's two kings here, so it's very powerful. And the high priestess and the empress are the only two major that came out. And they follow in sequence two and three. The high priestess, she's intuitive. She's a bit secretive, but she also wants to understand the way that things work, or rather, she does understand. She, uh, her intuition is um, sort of taken over here. So this, this, this gratitude medicine comes from, from within, from tapping in. If external forces feel, um, feel challenging right now, I see you sort of pondering why that is and sort of looking into your your heart. There are the cups here, the seven of cups, to explain this confusion. Uh, a source of strength might be... Um, your thoughts and your emotions here if you're able to speak your truth if you're able to say what's really on your mind it I think it'll feel really intense and you might have to hide away a while but at least you will have done right by you if that makes sense and 
once you can, um, I don't see, so if this is something that needs to be let go of, I don't see it ending yet, but it's, it is starting a new cycle. It's, it's start, this is the, from all the previous readings, this feels like the moment, the turning point. If that makes sense. Let's keep reading. The moon's here, full moon eclipse. Where is it? Hmm. It's gotta be somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Full moon eclipse. That which is meant for me will not pass me by. Doors will slam shut now and will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Meditation, pranayama, and yoga nindra are all recommended now. Seed control and let events unfold. Yeah, so this is about releasing something. Forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make it right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. A situation you're asking about is about to reach a peak or has just done so. Things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time. Yeah, this I feel like this definitely validates what I was saying about the reason for the for the gratitude medicine. It's about seeing things for what they are and releasing yourself from the insecurity of a particular situation. It doesn't make it easier, but you have a right to... Um, you know, dissipate this, this kind of confusion that might be, that, that's showing up on the table here. Return to the more practical um, approach to this because you, you should be able to feel good about what is happening if only for yourself. Um, and the Empress here is, is here to confirm that this is a period of intense growth. Dealing with the situation for yourself will be extremely beneficial to you. So let's see here. New Moon Libra. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more, think less. I see. I see. Yeah, that's interesting because the King of Swords and the King of Cups is here. So the King of Swords, if you're using your mind, the mind is not kind to us. <laughs> Let me just say that. Because what I see is the King of Swords is leading to this sort of, this Five of Pentacles, these insecurities. Then there's gratitude for... Having gratitude for this confusion. This is what I was saying about this whole time about the Venus retrograde. When we... There is a choice that needs to be made. This is the Seven of Cups. Also, I learned last night on my Instagram Live that um, the story of Venus retrograde, you know, the ancient stories, was about um, a princess going into the underworld and experiencing these seven gates um, to pass through in order to um, reach her goal and at every gate she needed to remove a piece of regalia you know something of value and there's seven cups here a decision needs to be made like we are slowly pulling back the layers of the onion and trying to understand why they were there in the first place and what their what their role really was in our lives Summer is here to, again, just validate that this is a bit of an intense time. It could feel like a roller coaster and there's a need to uh, take breaks 
from this kind of work. I think that the reassuring thing here is that the King of Cups is showing up right after the Knight of Cups. If you take action now with truth leading your heart, you cannot go wrong. That, that becomes your solid structure because no one can take that away from you. So, okay, so more messages for the new moon. Libra, it says, Give and take could be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. Yeah, I think I said that early in the reading, something about re-something. Re hmm. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning, and if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection. And anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating, and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to take, talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. It also says marriage or engagement is on the cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. When we have New Moon in Libra or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything and everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearance and appearances, and justice. Libra is disciplined, or depicted by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring things back into equilibrium. So the balance. Yeah. Let's do some clarifications. Show me the Empress, please. Knight of Pentacles, Judgment, Four of Swords. Right, so if this is the message earlier about this like self-care, turning your energy back into yourself, um, some practical advice might be to take a look at your daily routines. Um, see how you are... Fi figure out the things that you're um, actually committed to working on. Um, because... It, and. And again, there, there's the Four of Swords here showing up, indicating meditation or rest. Meditation may be a way to um, get in touch with those things that you might be thinking about. How to, you know, Knight of Pentacles also to me can mean like sort of New Year's resolutions. This is a reordering, a restructuring of our lives at this time. So I don't see any anything happening very quickly. Although the, the full moon eclipse did say that things are at a peak now. It's almost as if some work has been done to get some information about a situation. Um, and it says go moving forward, going in pairs is advised. So In the future, I do see possibly some, you know, if this resonates for you, I see you working things out if if all parties are committed. But right now, this is about you and deciding what it is you want and what you value. And... Um, yeah... Judgment and the Four Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Deciding which directions you want to grow in for yourself. How to do that. Let's see the King of Swords. Knight of Wands, the Seed, the Star. Okay. You're trying to, you, you've been trying to logic your way through... Um, some healing 
the, the, this new start. But the, 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 my, the, <laughs> which card said feel more, think less? Um, the, the, the mind is not always going to be the most helpful thing. And the mind can plant, um, can make us feel things that aren't maybe really our own things or, um, that can, um, confuse our emotions, our emotional state. But what I do see here was that whatever situation you are dealing with or have been dealing with, it is for healing. It is for starting something new. This, this, it says the seed is that new life springs from total darkness. Maybe the mind thought that it could logic its way to a faster new beginning, but this is not the case. If you try to rush things, you will be disappointed because the expectations you set for yourself are not very realistic. You might be in a place where you're ready to move on. And I'm not saying that other people don't want the same things, but everyone, everyone's timelines are very different. So you might be disappointed by setting some high expectations for yourself or for others. Show me the five of uh, pentacles. Yeah, it's a trick. It's a trick. If you're feeling left out in the cold, um, that's your mind playing a trick on you. What's what's actually happening is you're transforming. Um, you are not alone in this transformation either. A lot of people are, are changing and life's being reordered. The two of wands is about personal power as well. So it's a, it's about, the you know, you and the collective, I'd say, the collective really is <laughs> up against their minds and their thoughts about how this transformation can occur. I see someone's eyes set on the future and wanting to make plans. But again, I don't see it moving. I don't see it moving very quickly. So the thing that really is the work right now and of the recent past is to resonate a little bit higher. Don't let yourself fall into a pit of despair, for lack of a better word. Um, yeah, and I have the two of pentacles here. It's a choice. It's a choice. You can choose to um, want to balance, you know, juggle, I'd say, um, the, the various situations in your life. But I think actually what's more important is to try and release some things that aren't actually going to be helpful for you here in the immediate future or even in the present. This is about taking a step back and taking some space um, until this other party is ready to move forward. Um, and if they never show up, then that's your sign. That's that's your sign that this is this is something you have to release. Uh, let's see the quarter moon. Oh, yeah. Okay. This, there's some sort, if this is about, yeah. The situation might be something that has been a cycle. Um, it's really meant to show you more about yourself. It, the, the desire here from the universe, this energy, is about finding harmony. And the, the, the gratitude medicine, it needs to be um, focused on moving forward, allowing the cycle to end. And I see here somebody might be feeling really nostalgic about something from the past. So, again, gratitude for our lessons in life, right? And this is a really beautiful energy, but it's also heavily cyclical. I mean, Wheel of Fortune is sort of like a karma. It's um, it's indicative of the high and the low points. And what I'm feeling here is that somebody here might be having a low point. And again, gratitude is the medicine. Do that for yourself. You deserve it. This is about doing what feels good to you. And not judging yourself or other people for decide, for making that decision for themselves or for yourself. 
Um, the Seven of Cups, please. Clarified by the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy so the message i'm getting is <clears throat> this could be this could go a couple ways <sighs> someone is hardcore manifesting right now like really trying to see how they can get to the end again without the work of the lesson and that's why someone here is confused because they're trying to they're thinking that this might be a lot easier than it actually was i think that the wish is available to you right this is an extremely positive card a positive omen but i see a lot of struggle there's struggle and this is the deception card you'd be deceiving yourself for thinking that the work isn't um That this is in that this that this might be a hands off thing. Oh, I don't know. Like, the vibe I'm getting hardcore is to release expectation. Release expectation and deal what's right in front of you. Yeah, this is about lessons. This is some kind of karmic lesson. Show me the page of pentacles. There's the two of cups. Again, you can decide, you can choose for yourself whether you're going to be doing the work or not. I think, you know, my advice would be to do the work. It's not easy. A lot of patience is required. Look at this. A choice between going for it. Oh, wow. Look at that crazy sun. Let me fix this. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> the choice is yours. You can either respond by taking the time, being patient, trying to figure out what works for you, or you can full steam ahead. This is the Knight of Swords very, very quickly. If you want to like attack something very quickly, that is a surefire way to sort of keep yourself stuck, actually. Or rather, not stuck, but I think you'll cause yourself a lot of harm by maintaining some sort of expectation that things will go quickly, that things will happen right away. The intention is pure. I, I do think that the this is about just trying to understand. This is about wanting to understand something. And it could feel like a lot. It could feel like this is actually weighing on you pretty heavily, whatever this decision is, but we have to we have to try to be a little bit more open. A little bit more open for our own sake show me summer two of cups king of wands crescent moon Okay, so this is really strongly, I'm really strongly getting, this is a similar message to what I was saying earlier about the summer card. It's like, yes, yeah, speak your truth, do the work when things feel right, and then make sure to take time to build yourself up again and, and take shelter. Because what I see here is someone is being very vulnerable, and uh, you or this other person, um, you know, are maybe a little bit more ahead in this um, situation. Um, and someone here is expecting 
this is again expectations like you're expecting for this for everyone to see the situation the same way that you are um and so the message of the knight uh the king sorry the king of wands is that yes he's an inspirational figure some kind of leader and so someone is taking the lead here um at the same time and this is about transformation again at the same time The, the oh, how do I want to say this? <laughs> you can't just dictate other people's lives, okay? Um, this is not that's not the way. That's that's the Knight of Swords energy. Like, let's just cut to the chase. No, the Crescent Moon reminds us that this is a time to build yourself up. There may be times for getting vulnerable and and times for inspiration, but then take that inspiration and turn it inward as something to build yourself up on. Feel more confident. That's why we have the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups and the High Priestess showing up here at the end. Because this is extremely positive energy. It's very slow, though. The point is to build your own solid structure so that no matter what comes your way, you are solid. You can weather any storm. Let's see the um, the Knight of Cups. Oh, I'm sorry, and we lost the sun, so let me just fix this real quick. Whoop. I'm going to work on a new setup uh, when I get back from this trip I'm, do I'm having. King of Queen of Swords, Discernment, right? Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. You follow me everywhere. <laughs> so regarding this love offer, right? This could be you. This could be another person. Or this could... Um, the general energy is someone leading... You know, taking action with truth leading their heart. Okay? It requires a bit of discernment. And the, the amount of sword and men, sword energy, mental energy, that just leads you to your truth without overthinking, okay? This is about seeing the potential and not necessarily um, giving away too much of yourself that you, again, start to vibe pretty low again. This is about potentially protecting what you have um, just so much so that you can feel very grounded because again, the Page of Wands, he does see the potential. But the lesson of the Page of Wands is to ground your dreams on a solid foundation. Get your mind right. Get your mind right so that in the physical world, you can have your own solid structure and not feel like when you are getting vulnerable with somebody that this situation is going to rock you because now you've, you've got your truth and you're not willing you're not willing to really um deviate from that uh the queen of swords also indicates that this this is not an easy task she's the survivor of the tarot so, this is about coming to terms with something for yourself. And again, the Four of Pentacles, sometimes this, this is, you know, about being too materialistic or holding on to things too much. So maybe another message here would be to um, let go and make some room for potential, for inspiration, the sword, getting your mind right is, is what's going to help you make that discernment as to what needs to be let go of and, and what, what will replace it eventually. What else we got? The King of Cups. Shooting Star, Make a Wish. The Emperor... The chariot. Wow. Wow.
So, wow. So we have Aries and Cancer. And the shooting star. Clarifying the King of Cups. Hmm. This can go so many different ways, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what wants to come out here. This might be dealing with somebody who has Cancer and Aries in their chart. Um, uh, these placements. I also see Aquarius, Sagittarius. Um, who else did we have here? Um, Taurus. Scorpio, you know, and it, this doesn't have to be totally relevant, but this did scream to me sort of like placements and, um, make a wish. The wish here is to, again, have some sort of solid structure to take into the future here. And the King of Cups is about being able to weather any storm. The Emperor is a bit of a father figure. Wow, I don't know. I feel I feel super stuck on this. So let's let's pull some cards here. What's going on? What's going on with this? Eight of Wands, the Sun. Yeah. <clears throat> the message that wants to come through is that some some sort of um, make a wish as in embodying some sort of positive wish wishing wishing <laughs> energy right when we wish for things we are sort of automatically especially when we wish for the good things in our life for something to happen we that is tapping into a bit of this positivity right this higher vibration um and i see that again here clarifying the seven of cups addressing confusion with some positive energy this gratitude this wish this feels like believe in the impossible for you know maybe someone here is wishing to take control of a situation take control back over their life in order to move forward more confidently this is definitely about leaving behind a painful situation to find greater balance and I so I see justice here and the Sun Leo the most positive card in the tarot I think in terms of joy and radiating positivity um, and happiness You deserve to be happy. Um, this leads me to believe that there's whatever situation, if this is resonating and you're still watching this, whatever situation you're dealing with, um, I don't think that this person or this situation intends to cause you any harm. I think that the harm is caused by our own expectations. And it's time to leave behind this mental pattern and find balance. Justice, again, is, is a card of karma. This is a lesson. This is a lesson coming into balance. This is meant to show you something about yourself. Let's look at the High Priestess. Oh my God. Yes. Oh yes. This is good. Y'all. This is about tapping into your intuition. I think that you will be greatly rewarded. Look at this. I, I always point this out when I see these two cards on the table, they have the moon. Both of them have the moon phases here. 
So what does it mean to live by the moon? It means that certain moon phases are help, are, you know, do tell us about, you know, where the energy is. It's a good time to let go. It's a good time to build yourself up. It's a good time for setting new intentions, starting a new project. So this is about getting more in touch with that and living by the moon and doing so in such a way that really makes you feel connected to something, not only to yourself, but something greater than yourself. I think you will be heavily rewarded by following your intuition moving forward. The Queen of Cups, she is extremely in touch with her emotions and the Ace of Swords, this is a new beginning. This is a fresh start. Don't feel bad for whatever it is, is, <laughs> I'll say, don't feel bad for the healing work that needs to occur. Um, don't feel bad that you feel like you want it to happen right away. But do realize that it takes time and you deserve to give yourself that time, the patience, To find your your happy place again and look we got strength at the bottom of the deck strength is our fears plus compassion for oneself you can overcome almost anything with a little bit of compassion for yourself this is about building up confidence it is about dealing with a lesson and something brand new does want to come in so do your half of building yourself up and giving the universe something to work with. You know, communicate with spirit by saying, this is how I'm feeling. I'd really like to move on from this or I'd really like for this to happen. But then release your expectation as to what it will look like because I do see that it, that it wants to come in and your intuition wants to tell you something here too. So again, Meditation, yoga, journaling are all, I think, very helpful things to do um, today or this week and in general. So, yikes. I hope that helps. Um, this definitely... <clears throat> the more I do these every day, the more I see how the readings do really flow from one day to the next. I'm very hopeful about the week ahead. I know that yesterday was a really intense reading. Today we see a, a little taste of some medicine and some advice and a reason to be uh, hopeful. So I hope this helps. Um, next time I upload, I will be in a totally different place. Um, so there's that. Um, thank you guys and take care.